Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Dada of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, end up posting videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today's video, as the title says, above and below, this is going to be a setup of my new faith planner. And um, I did a previous video showing you guys the subtle differences between my old faith planner and my new faith planner. And um, this faith planner that I'm going to show you now, I actually got maybe a year, year and a half ago, but never used it because I still had the old one. And um, the planner that I use is the Recollections Faith Planner. You can get it from Michaels or even on their website. There are two different kinds. There's a personal size and then they have the sort of mini the mini is set up differently. It's set up kind of like an actual Bible study journal where they have like the soap method and things like that. Um, I kept debating on getting it, but I just, I don't find the point in getting it, even though it's cute. But we're, we're trying to get out of that habit of buying things because it's cute. I'm just trying, but yeah, let me take a sip of my coffee. I am tired, you guys. I'm tired. The clip you're going to see next, um, I started making that video at midnight. I didn't end that video until about 2.46 or something like that in the morning. And then I didn't, got, I didn't go to bed until about 4. It is currently 9.48. I've been up since 8 o'clock. And already made another video prior to this. So, you girl tired. So, if I sound a little tired, my voice sound a little raspy, just know my coffee ain't kicking yet, okay? Alright. <laughs> but um, if you guys don't know, my old faith planner is this one. Um, Again, they're both recollection planners I'm going to show you. But this one was the Faith, Blessed, Love, Peace, Holographic, kind of blue. And I really just loved it. Um, But it eventually got irritating for my eyes to just look at this. Um, It did have the silver coiling on it. And this planner is well loved, well used. Um, You guys can see all of that. And it's well loved. Okay, well loved, well loved, well written in. Let me see if I can fan you through okay um it's well love well written and, and i feel like it's time to get out of this panel i like i said i've had it since july 2018 and you guys think i'm lying it says 2018 2019 because i was only supposed to use it for 18 months um for the year okay year and a half i started july 2018 the last time i actually wrote in a week spread was march Okay, I did set up the last two tabs for April, but didn't use it. And also for May, clearly didn't use it. And because I already did that, it just made sense to just move to the next planner. So um, I love this planner. It's amazing. If you want to see setups from this planner and my old videos, just click the to go to my face planning playlist. Um, but yeah, we're moving on from this to the new one. So this is the third edition of this planner, if I'm not mistaken. The first edition was this one that I had here. Um, the second edition to this planner for 2019 was, um, was it 2019? I think it was 2019 or late 20, 2018 that it was a uh, really pretty like white, blue, pink, sort of almost like a sailor type of thing. I'm going to post a picture here because I can't really recall, but I knew it was pretty and I wanted it. So when I had one to Michael's, I was looking for that one, but I didn't see that when I saw this one, which this one appealed to me a lot more. It's still girly. It's still cute, but it's a lot more muted and subtle and I love it. Um, and compared to the old one, I love how subtle this is and how I can really have fun with the layout. So um, yeah, this one just says find the beauty in all things. It is copper and copper or bronze and bronze however you want to say it to me it looks a little copperish but whatever or maybe even rose gold hmm. don't know but um i love 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 this planner so much and i will be walking with you guys how i set it up now the first maybe 15 seconds or so it's gonna be sped up really really fast and you're gonna see me um decorating the month and part of the weekly view but then I cut the camera off because like I said it took me forever to figure out what I wanted to do so I'm gonna walk with you guys through um now that I have uh slowed everything down so you're going to the next clip you're going to see is going to be the sped up part of me decorating whatever that I recorded and then after that I'm going to come back and show you guys the actual completed setup um but before I get into that if you guys want to just jump straight into the setup, you can just go to this timestamp here. But I'm going to show you guys two more things because um, I recently, okay, I made a vlog Friday. I'm not sure if I'm going to post it though, <laughs> but I did record a vlog on Friday. Um, and I decided that I think I need to go back to using an hourly planner. And I used to use the day designer from Walmart or the day designer from Target. Basically, the cheaper alternative to the actual day designers because day designers are expensive. Um, if you guys don't know, I used to be a planner girl. 
the Kiki K's, the Erin Condren's, the Happy Planners, the uh, Color Crush Planners. I was all into that. That was a craze. Um, but I'm being a lot more smarter with my planning. Um, affordably, of course. You guys know I did that haul sharing with you guys a bunch of other stuff that I got um, from Walmart that were affordable planners. I still have those. I've been utilizing them here and there. Um, that's the main one that I'm using right now. I haven't used it in the past couple of weeks just because I've gotten lazy, honestly. But um, I felt like I needed to get back into an hourly. And to test if I still need to get back into that, I'm going to be using this. So if you guys don't remember the My Glam, the My Glam planners that Walmart came out with, a year or two years ago I had picked up some of the extra inserts and one of those was actually the hourly so this one I didn't even remember <laughs> the Holy Spirit had to like remind me yesterday that I had this um so it literally looks like this you have your date up here at the top you have your top three top four excuse me priorities your to-do list you're grateful for and then you have your hourly section which goes from 6 a.m. in the morning until 9 p.m. and that's great for me so I'm actually going to utilize this and see if I can use this to block out my time and if I am comfortable with this then I will go back to a day designer because I do love the day designer setup um, a lot more and it's a lot bigger but I also don't want to just buy it because I'm used to it so I'm going to utilize this see how I feel um, so I'm going to be incorporating this into my weeks for June and then I also have the other planner from My Glam, but this one literally just has sticky notes from the, this is from the My Glam. This is from the My Glam. These are just regular Walmart ones, regular Walmart uh, stickers. And then this back pocket here, these back ones are from the My Glam planner. So I just have this sort of like planner cover with sticky notes because we like sticky notes. But yes, if you guys want to see the decorating portion, stay tuned. So as you can see, this is sort of a part two to my sort of comparison of my Recollections of Faith Planner. This is the newest one I think that they have released. There was one previous to this that was like um, white and pink with blue. It kind of had like a, it had like a sailor theme. I will try to throw up a picture here for you guys to see what that one looked like. But um yeah it was really pretty i couldn't find that one and when i went i found this one but i found this maybe a year ago um i've had this for like a year year and a half i know but um this is my old one the faith bless love peace you guys have seen this so many times in videos um so so many times let me move this way for you guys um but you have seen it so many times in videos i have loved it um you guys can see it went from 2018 to 2019 but it actually went to 2020 so i have three years so, sort of kind of um basically two years but three years in a sense of um scripture writing in here and i have loved this planner so much that i'm ready to dive into the new one so i apologize with the setup i'm not sure the best way to set this up because of how my room is now and i don't really want to like go into a full setup with getting the camera right because it is pretty late um it's 12 44 in the morning it is uh, May 30th and I really want to get this stuff done before June 1st because June is a month of realignment I'm gonna be turning turning 29 and um, you know the Lord has been pressing on my heart to really just realign myself and prepare myself spiritually and mentally for the things that are going to be happening for the rest of 2020 so yes new planner um, completely brand new I mean I even had the little card and stuff on it so i just took it off just took off the little sticker from after making the video so we're going to set this baby up so again i apologize about the setup i tried to get this the best way i could with the great with good lighting at this hour but uh yeah so in the front you have your zip pocket which is great i love it the last one like i said in the previous video they had um in the back this one is in the front great um so we are at the title page it says i can do all things through christ 18 month planner um i'm going to literally just put my name in the year 2020 um so i do have some stickers you're going to see me lean down because i have my stickers right you guys see my finger i have stickers right over here so um <laughs>
Okay guys, so here is a close-up of the planner as it is laying down on the table. Sorry about the ring light. I needed the light because it's a little dull outside <laughs> right now. But yeah, here we go. Put my coffee down. But um, here's the planner. I love the florals. That's like the main thing that gets me. I love flowers for some reason. Really pretty. And um, they really show me the beauty of God and the works of his hands in so many different ways. But um, it just says find the beauty in all things. Um, and then when you open it, you have the front pocket here, which is the little zip pocket. I have some printable stickers that I made myself. And then um, basically I just found little images and put them into squares. Um, this was actually set for the Happy Planner because I used to have a Happy Planner. <laughs> but um, I have those and then I have this uh, sticker set that I got from Walmart. So here it has the cover page that says, I can do all things through Christ, 18 month planner. I just put nay. Um, I was having trouble with these stickers. You would have seen that in a video. Um, I don't have any like number stickers that I want to put here. So I'm probably just going to write 2022, whatever year I finish it. Then we go into the scripture writing chart, excuse me, the scripture reading chart. So my initial plan was to write when I start a book in the Bible. What book of the bible is and then when i finish it i can check it off and put the finish date or i can just write it on the next line that's my initial plan for possibly this page and then on this page do like some memory verses that i really want to remember um i'm still working that out so let me know what you guys think i should do should i use it to keep track of when i read specific scriptures or books in the bible or should i use it for um half for tracking uh when i start and finish a book in the bible and then the other half for um what you call it keeping track of memory verses let me know but here we come to my dashboard for the month of june so i separated it into sections okay this top section it already says notes and thoughts so i figured i would leave this section blank just so that i can journal how my month was um i can come back at the end of the month look at my planner and just journal my thoughts overall of the month then we go into my tbr so these are the books that I'm going to be reading. Um, I color coded them. Don't know why. Just felt like it. <laughs> and um, the blue ink is basically fictional books. Um, this kind of, uh, I guess, corally pink is going to be nonfiction. And then the peach is going to be my devotional. So I own several devotionals. And I'm not one of those people who follow devotionals by the date. So like if it says March 3rd and it's July, I'm going to read it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me. Um, so... I'm going to dedicate to reading two of my devotionals a month, one for the morning and one for the night, um, so that I can actually circulate, circulate, rotate. That's what I want to say. So I can rotate all of my devotionals. Um, so then I have teaching because you guys know that I am now teaching at my church um, for Bible study as well as Sunday school. And there are some other endeavors that we're going to be taking that are going to be taking place in either the summer or in the fall that I'm going to be doing. Um, so. I want to keep track of what I have to do for teaching. So for June 11th, I have to teach the children and the youth for Bible study. We're doing Fruits of the Spirit, and I'm going to be teaching my second lesson. My first one was on peace. My second lesson is going to be on gentleness. And then on June 21st, I have to do Sunday school. So I have to teach that, either make a pre-recorded video or go live in our Facebook group. Um, I want to start doing favorite videos. I used to do this a lot on my beauty channel. Um, and on my blog channel, but I want to get into doing my favorites for the month. So like my favorite books that I read, my favorite pens that I'm using, my favorite um, uh, worship songs and stuff like that. So I'm going to put those here in my favorite section. I have six items here that I'm going to try. I'm going to try to keep it less than 10, 10 or less. Um, and then my video ideas, of course, I have my June TBR and then my May book haul. Um, and then at the bottom, social media. I want to keep track of that. Um, not that I really care about the numbers, but I know that if I'm going to be requesting something from a specific publisher or a specific, specific company they're going to want to know my number so at the beginning of june literally at midnight i'm going to go on to um youtube instagram facebook group and page and write down the beginning number that i have at midnight june 1st okay so june 1st midnight i'm going to log on to each of those and write down my beginning numbers and then at the end of the, the month i'll put down my ending and i just like to see the growth um like that so uh, we have this folder here, which I'm keeping this in here. This is actually the Faith Spiral Planner from Recollections. And I'm keeping it because I'm trying to figure out how the heck they use this. 
scripture study box don't know so i still don't know um inside i just have some reading plans reading scripture plans this one was from my church from two years ago i think um this one is the sovereignty of god it's a july writing plan from whole magazine but i'm going to use it whenever i feel like it um this one is a june scripture writing plan wholeness through brokenness this is a may scripture writing plan called abiding in christ and this one is believe bigger 30-day creative writing and journaling challenge um so anytime i get stuck don't know what to do don't know what to do uh utilize or if any of the scriptures out of the uh devotional that i'm using are not helpful i can use this flip side nothing on here but um i will be sticking a sticker here i'm not sure what sticker i want to put here though i might put gold foil don't know but um my june so here's my month overview set up um i always block out the days that are not needed so um the beginning and the end of the month are blocked off this june sticker is actually from the actual planner you'll see that in the back um i just put sticky washi tape at the top um and the only thing really decorated right now is enjoy every moment on june 3rd that is my 29th birthday hey so i do have that decorated real simple but i will also be marking off the 11th because that's when i teach and then i will also be marking off the 21st because that's when i teach as well um and i'm going to keep track of when i start a book when i finish a book any bible plans that i'm doing um any uh, if i studied i'm going to write exactly what i studied there will be a color coding key that i'll probably stick up here to keep track of everything but that's how that's looking right now i'm not going to fill this in until tomorrow um because today is the 30th as i'm making this tomorrow's the 31st so the 31st i will dive into this and i'll just keep track every day as i'm in my planner um over here i have a prayer request section um this is a sticker these two are stickers from the actual planner itself so this is prayer request i'm going to make sure that i'm keeping three specific things in mind for prayer every month um habit tracker i want to make sure that i'm sticking to my quiet time the reason why i'm doing that is because like i said i fell off with my quiet time so i want to make sure that i'm having that quiet time be it in the morning in the afternoon or the evening as long as i'm having it that day i want to keep track um so we have that i put this joy sticker from one of my faith sticker packs this is another sticker from one of my other faith sticker packs in this box i'm going to put my favorite quote or my favorite scripture from the entire month so after going through all the books that i read all the the things that i read in the bible i'm going to pick something that sticks out to me and write it here um in this box then i'm going to have specific goals set for the month of june um, I'm not really sure exactly. I'm waiting. I'm still praying on that. But whatever my specific goals for the month of June are, I'm going to put them here. And then here is how the first week is set up. So like I said, I'm doing more pinks and mints. Pinks and mints for my birthday week because that's just when I want it, you know, girly, cute. So I have this sticker. It just says, so you pl so you plant your garden, decorate your own soul instead of waiting for someone to bring you flowers. Um, in this section, I'm going to put my reading schedule. I have a post-it note here because I'm actually going to put my reading schedule on a post-it note before I transfer it here. <laughs> so my reading schedule will go here for the books that I'm like, whatever books I'm reading that week, I will keep track. So I know like I'll be reading The Emotionally Healthy Leader. I'm going to be reading chapter three or chapter four for that. Um, Becoming by Michelle Obama, I definitely want to read. So I'm going to write down the pages, whatever my buddy read is for the week, whatever book I'm picking up, I will put that down here. So I have to figure out my reading schedule and then i will plug it in um so that'll be done before june 1st okay sticker date dots i got from the my glam planner washi tape the skinny washi tapes you see i got from um amazon and then this follow your heart sticker is washi tape is from walmart as well so yeah six tabs from walmart the bottom my goals i have prayer devotional bible study reading um and journaling I always go back and forth between journaling um, because I feel like my prayer journal is journaling. So, I don't know. Um, I might do like verbal prayer and then any type of journaling or prayer, prayer journaling, journaling in general. I don't know. But I am going to be implementing two of my guided journals. I have three guided journals, but I'm going to be implementing two. Actually, let me grab them and show you guys quickly. Um, if I remember where I put them, here they are. Okay. So, the first guided journal I'm going to be implementing is the Becoming um, Guided Journal from Michelle Obama. It's going to force me to read the book because I'm planning to read the book this month um, for the month of June. So, this is a guided journal and I love the questions that it asks. Um, I think my favorite one so far is uh, this section here, which it says, um, 
do you have any favorite quotes and to write them down but the first day alone it says what's your story and have you learned how have you learned to embrace it and then where did your story take a turn i just i really want to start getting back into journaling because i have so many journals and i used to love journaling so i want to get back into that so between this journal and then i have the emile a standard of grace um guided journal i haven't decided which one i'm gonna do yet but um this one is more a this is definitely more of a christian related journal okay um whereas the becoming is not really christian related it's just life journal but um this again is guided so you have your week one abundant grace um i might do this one and save becoming for the next month if i'm going to be reading becoming i don't know yet okay i might do this or my i don't know we'll see but um yeah i just want to do this so we have that so i definitely want to incorporate journaling back into my life um and then on the section is just as i'm grateful for i might stick a decorative sticker here i'm not really sure yet but um yeah i have that set up and then i just have my shoe paper clip that i got a while ago when i used you know used to be into planning but here's what a blank week looks like it's really neutral really simple and things like that so that is that um so if you guys hear water running my bed my bedroom is literally by the bathroom so when someone is in the bathroom you can hear the water um so yeah i haven't set up anything else but if you flip to the back i have all of my stickers from the actual recollections planner so these are from this planner okay if you, you would have seen these in the actual like walkthrough video and then the ones behind the that are these colors are from the older version so i just keep those in the back because these are specific face planner stickers um but yeah that is the setup for my planner i am loving it i cannot wait to dive into it for the month of june again i will be doing a weekly overview once i fill it out and let you guys know what i learned i might make that a thing might make that a thing a new thing on the channel but other than that that is it for this video thank you guys for watching waiting subscribing if you guys want any other faith planning related videos let me know i'm all here for it i'm trying to get back into it the way i used to um and i guess that is it for this video so i will catch you guys on the flip side bye